Umbria is one of the smallest regions in Italy. It's always been overlooked as a travel and location destination as its neighbour Tuscany has been a region in Italy that captures people's hearts and imagination. So why should you put Umbria on your bucket list of must-see regions of Italy? For a start, Umbria has a character all of its own as you are now about to find out 18 interesting, helpful and fun facts about Umbria in Italy. Number 1. Known as the Green Heart of Italy, it's the only region that doesn't border a coastline or a country. The region gets its name from the green scenery of the forests, the tobacco and grain fields, the olive groves and the vineyards that are found throughout Umbria. Many of the old tobacco drying structures are now converted into holiday lodges. An abundant wildlife roams the region including koipu, deer, eagles, porcupines, tortoises and wild boar. Wild herbs, fruits, figs, berries, truffles and mushrooms are also in abundance. Number 2. Located in central Italy, the Umbria region has an area of just under 8,500 square kilometres, which is about 3,300 square miles. Number 3. The region is bordered by Tuscany to the west and northwest, by Marche to the east and northeast, and by Lazio to the south and southwest. Number 4. The River Tiber runs through the region. Number 5. The fourth largest lake in Italy, Lake Trasimeno, is in Umbria. Lake Trasimeno is surrounded by quaint medieval towns and castles, including Passignano and Castiglione del Lago, together with many small independently owned vineyards producing great wine. The Trasimeno Blues Festival is held here. Lake Trasimeno is also the site of the Battle of Lake Trasimeno in 217 BC, where Hannibal defeated the Romans. Number 6. Cima del Redentore in the Sibillini Mountains is the highest mountain in the region that rises to just under 2,500 metres, about 8,000 feet. Number 7. Much of Umbria was ruled by the Etruscans. This was before the Romans took over, following the Battle of Centinum in the 3rd century BC. Number 8. During the 20th century, Umbria became a driving force of the country's industrial revolution, until World War II brought matters to a juddering halt, which saw much of its towns and cities heavily bombed and destroyed. Number 9. The Nikoni Valley runs through Umbria and Tuscany. Running for 11 miles, the valley represented the boundary between the old Papal States and the Holy Roman Empire, and was populated with 12 ancient castles, many of which are now derelict. Number 10. The tallest man-made waterfall. The Mamoi Waterfall is an artificial waterfall of 165 metres high that was created by the Romans to drain water from the River Valino. The waterfall is found just a few kilometres from the town of Terni. Number 11. There are fewer tourists. You can enjoy a typical and authentic Italian lifestyle in Umbria where many people move to the region to just get away from city life. The region is ideal for the discerning traveller too, who is content with slowing down to the pace of life that the locals lead, to enjoy the food and wine, and to discover Perugia, the region's capital, Assisi, the town of St Francis, and Orvieto, the old Etruscan city. Before you discover these towns and the food and wine, if you're enjoying these interesting, helpful and fun facts about Umbria in Italy, quickly check out the ongoing collection of news, reports, resources and courses on this channel that will make your introduction to expat life in Italy and La Dolce Vita even sweeter. It's so easy. Just click on the subscribe button below and then click the grey bell icon to ensure you don't miss out on future videos being uploaded. Plus, watch this video to the very end where you'll get access to a special report packed full of helpful ideas for when you visit or consider living in Italy. And now, for some more interesting, helpful and fun facts about Umbria in Italy. Number 12. Perugia 
Perugia is the regional capital of Umbria. With its Etruscan history shown in the architecture of the city walls, Perugia is well known for 1. Being one of Italy's great art cities 2. Its chocolate festival in the autumn and 3. Its modern jazz festival in the summer. The town has a large traffic-free piazza ideal for taking a leisurely walk through and admiring the city's art and architecture. With Umbria being fairly central to the rest of Italy, access to Perugia by car from other major cities can take about 1. 2 hours from Florence 2. 3 hours from Rome and 3. 5 hours from Venice Number 13. Assisi the town of Assisi is the birthplace of St. Francis and St. Clair, as well as being a UNESCO World Heritage Site. Assisi is regarded as the city of peace and attracts a lot of Roman Catholic pilgrims each year. St. Francis is the patron saint of animals. In Assisi, you will find the St. Francis Basilica and St. Clair Church. Number 14. Orvieto Positioned on a hilltop, Orvieto is a fascinating town to explore as follows. 1. Orvieto's Gothic Cathedral is a great example of historical architecture and the Renaissance artwork of Luca Signorelli. 2. Underneath the town is a labyrinth of tunnels and caves created during the Etruscan period, which became a home of shelter for local residents during the Second World War. Three. Orvieto is well known for the white wine that's produced in the region. Number 15. Gubbio. This town holds the festival of the cherry on the 15th of May and is regarded as the most important festival in Umbria. Three teams representing the patron saints San Antonio, San Giorgio and San Ubaldo run through the town in their colours and traditional attire of black, blue and yellow. The run starts in the main square in front of the Palazzo di Consoli and up the mountainside of Gubbio, with each team carrying the statue of their saint weighing around 280 kilograms, that's over 600 pounds. The festival represents the history and devotion of the Umbrian people and has been celebrated since 1160. Number 16. Spoleto South of Lake Trasimeno is the Festival di Giudemon di Spoleto, the festival of opera, dance and theatre. Spoleto also has interesting Roman and medieval sites to attract visitors throughout the year. Number 17. Food The green of Umbria is characterised by the forests and this is where many ingredients and foods originate from, as follows. 1. Wild boar and pigs roam the forests and so delicious cured meats and pork are typical meat dishes. 2. Mushrooms and truffles are also found within the forests, with porcini mushrooms and black truffles being the most popular. More truffles are found in Umbria than in any other region of Italy. 3. Despite the region being landlocked, freshwater fish from Lake Trasimeno are cooked in stews. Four. The Castelluccio Valley produces the best lentils in the world, whilst red canara onions and black celery is grown in the fields around Lake Trasimeno. 5. Three typical cheeses are salted ricotta, pecorino di noccia, made from sheep's milk, and cacciotta cheese, often flavoured with truffle. 6. Olive oil produced in Umbria is known more for its quality than quantity, with the olive groves around Trevi being the best. Well-known dishes from Umbria include 1. Colombaccio, which is a common wood pigeon roasted on a spit over a fire. Typical of many Umbrian dishes, game are cooked with salsa chiotta, a sauce flavoured with the livers of the bird or animal being cooked. 2. Cristini al tartufo la lumbra, a popular antipasti where grated black truffles are mixed into a pasta with local olive oil and anchovies spread on small slices of crusty toasted bread. 3. Pasta la nocina is a pasta that can contain either sausage meat or mushrooms or truffles, served in a creamy white wine sauce. Another local pasta dish is pasta la nocina, where the pasta includes anchovies and black truffles. 4. Porchetta, which is a sandwich like no other sandwich. 
Basically, the ingredients involve a whole gutted pig stuffed with pork offal flavoured with fennel, garlic, salt and pepper, which is then tied up and spit roasted slowly for several hours. The filling of juicy meat and crisp crackling is then sliced up and placed between two slices of bread. 5. Tecamacho, a soup or stew made of freshwater fish from Lake Casamino. Perch and eel are usually used for this dish with a sauce made from celery, garlic, tomatoes and white wine. 6. Total Testo, a flatbread made from flour, olive oil, salt and water. Often served as an accompaniment to stews and soups, it's also used as a sandwich with fillings such as cheese, cured meats, spinach and sausages. 7. Torcolo, a dessert cake with its origins going back to the 17th century. The ingredients include candied fruits, citrus peel, pine nuts and raisins and is traditionally eaten on the 29th January during the Feast of San Costanzo, who is the patron saint of Perugia. And 8. Perugina, the company that produces the chocolate bacci, is based in Umbria. Number 18. Wine. Umbria is an important wine region of Italy and is renowned for the following. 1. The vineyards surrounding Orvieto, which produce most of Umbria's wines, such as the dry, crisp Orvieto whites. 2. The white wine Crocetto, a very popular wine. 3. Montefalco, a hill town that's home to the Sagrantino grape, has DOCG status and is responsible for the production of red wines of the region. 4. Throughout the region, Sangiovese grapes are grown and these are often blended with Sacramentino grapes to help create lighter red wines. With such food and wine to choose from, that alone makes Umbria a region that stands out in Italy. For now, I highly recommend that you download and read your special guide entitled You Can Start a Brand New Life in Italy. Just click on the URL link in the description box below this video, kindly leave a positive comment in the comment section below, and then please share with friends and enjoy. And don't forget to subscribe and then click the grey bell icon to join an exclusive club of subscribers to be notified of all future videos being uploaded. Until next time, ciao for now.